Hello and welcome back. My name is Elisa Mozal and I help people explore more their spirituality. And on this channel, I talk about uh, self-esteem, self-love, self-growth, spiritual journey, progressing and all that juicy stuff. So if this is your jam, be sure to subscribe. And today we have, I believe, second day with some sunshine here in Scotland first time in about 11 days time which is great success to have some sunshine here which is amazing and there is something i really wanted to talk about with you and do not take too much time but very briefly speak because it's so crazy important what to do and what do we do and what is the best thing to do when shit hits the fan when we are said no, when things do not go our way or when we are really surprised in maybe not nice way by people's situations and life in general. And I think that my message for this video, because the worst things that I've ever done in the past when that was happening, I took it as a sign that I am not worthy. I took it as a as a meaning that I am not good enough and all that stuff was just pu was just putting me deeper and deeper in a really low self esteem and was creating more and more unpleasant situations in the future. So whatever you do, whatever it is, as long you don't take it as you are not good enough or in the future you will never, this thing will never work out for you. This is the worst thing you can do for yourself and your close ones. The best thing you can absolutely do for yourself is just to love yourself even more than ever, especially when someone told you, no, this is not happening. I think it's good to remember that this whole spiritual life journey it's all about growth and progress and it's so easy to get lost in the ego character it's so easy to get lost in this is what i want this is what would be awesome to have this is what elisa would like to do and be and blah 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 and it's easy to get lost in that the way I think or I believe things should be or shouldn't be. And at the end of the day, through the growth and tr through the trials and through the tough points, this is where we actually learn the most. We learn about ourselves, we learn about life, we learn about this whole journey. And uh, they are things that we did signed up for before we came into this planet, before we came into that life. They were things that we signed up for to uh, to go through, to learn from uh, and, and be as well that anchor and, and the learning point for other people like me in my life, like, like I used to look at my past, like, like my darker past, you know, like, oh, you know, of course, I'm still remorseful. I'm still not remorseful. Of course, I still, I'm still not proud with, with all the mistakes that I've done. I'm really glad I've done my amends and I'm really glad I'm not doing these things. But at the end of the day, I understand as well that that was uh, uh, my role in letting other people, uh, giving them opportunity to learn and grow from that as well. And no, it's not okay to hurt other people. No, it's not right. But if I wouldn't hurt people in the past, how would I learn from it? Uh, I wouldn't. I just simply wouldn't that's just where I was that was my path so one of the best things you can do for yourself is just to keep on loving yourself even more uh, journal it out in your journal what can you learn from it what is the message for me from that higher power from the universe set up over here what is this thing that I can learn what is the thing that I can take with myself into my heart and maybe even pass it on to other people what is the thing that I can improve in myself and that's all that stuff uh, can be done and it doesn't have to be anything tough it doesn't have to be anything you you need to struggle with it doesn't have to be something that it's unpleasant because you can make it as a uh, like a daily routine you can make it like a weekly routine and you can make it as something that it is an act of self-love between you and you when you simply just give yourself that beautiful time that beautiful space that you create for yourself your life and the things uh, uh, that you, we can learn and, and process and one of the things that kept me 
in my past in my past was that I wasn't processing that stuff that information these experiences in a healthy way I was shoveling them under the carpet or I was just pretending that they didn't happen because I just simply had no idea how to deal with that stuff and it is true we don't know what we don't know so if I didn't know how to process that information how to process these feelings and emotions of course the best thing I could do is to pretend that they never happened uh, but then it came time in my life when everything boiled up and it was just boiling to come out and it, and it came out you know through the skin through the pores through the <laughs> every possible end uh, in a in an emotional way uh, emotional diarrhea if you want if you want to say it this way um, and it had to be dealt with and and I'm glad that that happened as well the biggest reminder from that video is that we learn through that the stuff stuff if we decide that we have no longer time to be a victim of it and as well uh, the more you love yourself uh, the more you will learn from it the more this journey will be enjoyable and if you have any question and there is more that you would like me to talk about please put that in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to get back to you answer to that question if it is my experience so I can help you and stay awesome stay amazing and I will see you soon in my next video